It's a foodie's dream, a wine lover's wish, and a beer drinker's paradise. Some of the best Niagara and beyond has to offer, and it's all under one roof here at the Food and Wine Expo. This weekend, is, is, I guess it's really just ultimately a celebration of food and wine and spirits and cocktails and things that, that we can express and expose Niagara residents to. It's a, it's, it's a kind of you know, a big top scenario where everyone can come in and experience what's maybe new trends, new vintages from local wineries, a new cocktail from a that some mixologist has just conjured up in their heads and 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 see it in a very kind of friendly and engaging atmosphere. There's so much in Niagara as far as food and wine goes. What do you think sets it apart from other regions? I think it's just the will to make it as fun as you want it to be or as serious as you want it to be. I mean, we've really developed a wine culture over the past 20 years where we celebrate the hard work and ethic that makes good wine, but also don't want to suck the fun out of it by just making it about, oh, you know, the, the hard facts or the tradition and the pedigree. That's all there. And if you want to spend time and get to know the winemakers, your favorite winemakers, they've got great stories to tell. But if you just want to go in and say what's, what's new and what's delicious, they will pour you something and you can tell them it's like, I like this or you know it'd be all thumbs up or all thumbs down and they'll pour something else until you find actually what you like that it, and that's ultimately what it's about and you know that finding the things that you actually derive pleasure from. All right. All right so Ron tell me what you're, you're preparing here today. Well today we have uh, it's a red wine and root beer braised short rib uh, served on a herbed uh, mashed potato with uh, sweet potato chips and pea tenders. Now that's not something you would you would think of if you're cooking at home. You put some root beer on there. It's different. It is different, and it's different uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because it's uh, it's about a three or four hour process, uh, just one day. Um, the ribs that we prepared today was uh, took three days to do. So just because there's different levels and different steps you have to do, you have to braise the ribs first, uh, then you cool them down, and then you and then you cut them up, and then you have to make the sauce separately as well too. So it's a long process, but the, the finished product is worth it. Okay, Carol. So we're at the Food and Wine Expo, but I see no food. I see no wine. What is Hospice Niagara doing here? We're here with our largest fundraiser of the year, our five car draw. And the five car draw supports all of the residential services that we provide at the Stabler Center. So we're hoping that people come out to the food and wine and also take the opportunity to support a great cause in their own community. Okay, now people who aren't here, how can they get in on this? We're lucky this year that Meridian Bank has partnered with us and you can go into any Meridian branch across the region and buy yourself a five car draw ticket. We have a wonderful Harley Davidson motorcycle this year as well as five spectacular cars available. And when's the big draw? The first early bird draw is June 14th at the Rib Fest in Niagara Falls and the five cars will be driven, are drawn at Montebello Park on August 3rd at the Rib Fest. Ryan, I see you've got a bunch of flavors of cupcakes here and a very Canadian one, you've got an ice wine one. Uh, what's the inspiration behind all these? Um, well, we have over 115 flavors in our bakery already to begin with for cupcakes. Um, we do lots of other stuff too, uh, cakes and pastries and full catering and stuff as well, but um, because it is a food and wine expo, we wanted to do a lot of stuff that was, you know, wine and alcohol inspired, so we came up with a whole bunch of different flavors based on alcohols that we use in general for cakes and fillings and stuff in our cakes normally. So. The ice one in general is actually an award-winning cupcake. We've done a competition with it, and it's actually called our Niagara's Gold. Um, we use a Herndor's Estates uh, Vidal Ice Wine 2008 uh, for it, and it's actually an ice wine cupcake filled with a spice pear compote and cupped with a ice wine buttercream and glitter glaze. Have you had a chance to try some of the Niagara foods today? Uh, I had some uh, pulled pork sandwich. It was very yummy <laughs> with, some with some coleslaw on it. So I'm hoping to try out some more stuff when I'm finished uh, my doing my thing today. Uh, but uh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. Have you had any of the Niagara wines? I haven't yet because I'm driving. Okay. It's stupid. It was a stupid mistake. I shouldn't have uh, driven. But how was I going to get here? You can always bring some to your hotel with you, right? Smart. Yeah. <laughs> for, I, a, get a hotel, and B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what can we expect for next season? Uh, a lot more food, a lot more funny, uh, a lot more deep fried. <laughs> uh, just a, a lot more of the same stuff that we've been doing for the past three seasons. Uh, it's just that we kind of expanded this year. We went to the States this year, which is pretty cool. Uh, so as, along with uh, all our great Canadian restaurants, we get to go into the States. Uh, so it's just comfort food to the max, for sure. Oh, it's big, amazing. Niagara, uh, Niagara Falls and just the Niagara region, the region has such great food. We, we traveled quite a bit around here for the show, so uh, we've, it's always awesome to come back. 
So it's safe to say that you got to eat here? Most definitely you got to eat here, yeah. <laughs> That wraps up the fifth annual Niagara Food and Wine Expo. I'm stuffed and that's only a taste of what Niagara has to offer. If you're looking for somewhere to eat next year, it's like John said, you gotta eat and drink here. Reporting for The Source, I'm Elizabeth Hall.